Welcome, I am Jonathan J. Reinhardt here from Wargaming Recon bringing you a new unboxing video. Are you as excited as I am? Because I am really excited. This is a package, it's a huge package. Let me lift it up for you. It's 20 pounds. Oh, geez, look at this. Wow. This behemoth is 20 pounds, came all the way from Poland from playmats.eu. And I've been eagerly awaiting this. A while back, they said that they would send us some stuff to open up, review, look at, talk about on the show. And these things in here are what we're supposed to do. This actually came the other day, and I was like, oh, I really want to do an unboxing, but we had to get some stuff done. You might also notice, oh, <laughs> that's a big package. If you look down at our tabletop, <laughs> you may not have been following what everything is going on with us here at Wargaming Recon, but we are doing some alterations, moving things around in the studio, getting all sorts of new stuff set up, and we're working all that, and finally have reclaimed the tabletop so we can have gaming and so forth happening there. It was covered with all sorts of projects, and now, no longer. So let's open this box and see what's inside. Um, I gotta say, for being sent from Poland, and they basically sent it to snail mail, which I don't blame them because, let's face it, it'd be really expensive to ship. It got dinged up a little bit, but the stuff seems pretty solid, so. Let's get it on the tabletop. Oh. Now, it looks like the best way to just kind of dig in. I will say that these, I don't know exactly what they're sending. But, if you like, you might see I'm, I'm touching down here on the tabletop. This is a cigar box battle mat for your tabletop gaming needs. Play mats does their own mats. They do all sorts of different ones. They also do 2D terrain, which can be really neat. Read about it in an issue of War Game Soldiers and Strategy, saw them online, and thought, hey, this is kind of neat. So I sent an email to their customer service people and asked what we could do to make something happen, because I wanted to cover it on the show to talk about it with all of you. And it looks like we got to keep on digging. They packed this really nicely. So let's dig in. And see what we've got as we keep my goodness whacking away at this thing. <laughs> it's pretty exciting. Okay. Now I extra appreciate that when they package it, they put in the black uh, plastic bag wrapping in case it rained, right? Could get wet. It could have a rain squall, could have, I don't know, a hurricane or something, as it made its way from Poland to the United States. Wow. Let me just tear that. Okay. Let's just get this off. Now we have this nice cardboard box. And thankfully, <laughs> underneath I have box cutter. Kids, make sure you do it safely. And if you're a little kid, get a grown up. Ask a grown up for help with sharp objects like box cutters or scissors. Or if you're like me and you're a grown up, maybe you should have a grown another grown up helping you out. So let's take a piece. Okay, I'll roll it over. Let's just cut this thing open. I'm like a kid at Christmas. I can't wait to see what's inside. Oh my goodness, this is, you can't see any of it, but it's pretty amazing at how much stuff there is. Wow, okay, so first we got another box to open. We have cardboard tube that's empty. And another one, because it has, oh no, this is neat. This is a 2D road, 2D terrain road that you got here. You can do all sorts of stuff with it. And it feels like it's made out of that neoprene mouse pad kind of material. Kind of like the people who do the fat mats. And I believe this was just safely rolled up in there. And one of the neat things about this material that make it great for people who have small children like myself or people who are clumsy like myself is you can wipe it clean very quickly and easily. Road. Bam. Put that there. We get another piece of 2D terrain. Right here. Oh, this is a city street. Look at this. You can use it for a highway. It'd be great for car wars or gas land. I know that's pretty popular. If you just want to do a 40k city fight. You can have that in there. 
this is a little modern looking but you could probably use this also for world of juice you want to do some roads or i don't know stalingrad or something you could get this going in there also made of the same material that's pretty neat we'll roll that up and see how that is now because it's 2d all this terrain the roads and everything easy to store easy to put aside you don't have to worry about having all this stuff and look the containers that they came in you can use for more terrain you can do your own terrain you can make a nice small uh, smokestack for something you can have tunnels your kid right you get binoculars hello <laughs> you can use these for just about anything they're really cool put these aside save these for use with other stuff we get another box we'll come to those boxes in a minute and wow we got <laughs> a, a big tube right here it says playmats.eu on it and let's open it up oh this must be one of the maps and what is oh it's a cap <laughs> i was like what is in there so you can use these also for other things as well for storage came sealed in the plastic brand new let's open this mat up okay there's all sorts of goodies in here i am thoroughly impressed oh, and take it out of the sleeve and let's open this thing wow so this looks like it is i'm gonna say yeah this is about a three by three mat and it has some nice jungly kind of grassland jungle terrain with shrubs and stuff but wait double-sided nice so you got winter scrubland again <laughs> you could do all oh, sorts of great world War two gaming with this some great fantasy gaming one of my favorite games workshop novels for warhammer fantasy is about valkia the bloody and how she becomes a favored one of the chaos gourd, god corn up in the chaos waste has some nice chaos barbarians using this we do a little fantasy you could have slanesh forces here um going against lizard men so some chaos stuff going on there it's a nice new world thing you could do conquistadors you could do tons of mike Payne would actually like this uh if you're a long-time listener of our podcast you know he's been on there before for pulp wargaming he, this would be really great for this side and again it's the same neoprene stuff this side with the jungle is glossier and smoother because this side it's although it's on the back it's the more fabricy side that usually goes face down so you will notice a different feel to this but completely awesome I got to say I'm a fan. And normally I don't love 3x3 stuff because when you figure what kind of gaming you're going to do with it, you're going to get like not a whole lot of space. It's something if you're going to do like say War Machine, I guess, you would have that kind of, and it take me forever to roll this, that kind of stuff for it. So we got that map there. We got another one. Here, let's open this one up. Like I said, these are all from playmats.eu. You should check them out and um, see what they have and what you might like. Let's open this up. Okay, I keep hitting my ceiling. The mic is gonna love that. So this looks like it's a gridded setup with imagery on the back. Let's just kind of cut in and see what we got here as well. And don't worry this is i mean it's an unboxing video just kind of show you what we have here but we'll do more videos about this and more content about these so oh it comes with oh it's a whiteboard marker because aha uh -huh, uh, it comes with its own whiteboard marker round tip black whiteboard marker because this is super glossy and you can use this for dungeoneering Let's say you want to do a D and D campaign. You want to do Pathfinder. You want to do whatever. You get the whiteboard, so you don't need minis. You use the whiteboard marker, just a cap, and you do whatever. And there's something here. You could draw an outline of a 
uh, a dungeon, a map, a city maybe that you're going in. So it's another three by three. Could probably use this to do entry level into Frostgrave, to do entry level into the Ghost Con uh, Lost Continent, Ghost Archipelago rather, I think that's what they call it. Um, could do all sorts of stuff. Has a nice kind of plasticky neoprene smell to it. And imprint it as well with just kind of a um, little bit of design in the back to give you some shade and so forth. Very cool with its own whiteboard marker. Uh, we will have, oh, I guess you roll this one. <laughs> we will have more information about pricing and all that kind of stuff. Uh, probably in the description below, you can see. And we'll also have on social media and things of that sort. So be sure to check out those things. And I want to make sure I remember, if you're watching this on YouTube, please click subscribe. you got to smash that subscribe button, right? <laughs> As all the YouTubers say. And then ring the bell. Because if you ring that bell, ding! Then make sure you get notifications when we have new videos that come up. Whether it's an unboxing like this, or whether it's some sort of podcast episode or live chat or whatever. Very cool. What else? Wow, there's just so many, <laughs> so much stuff in here. I am shocked and amazed and impressed and excited and all the things all at once. And apparently also unable to open this because, oh, there we go. Oh, this is a thick one. <laughs> Whoa, big too, okay. So we'll plop that one down. And this is a little floppier. Oh, already open, nice. This might be a full four by six size. So also the, you know, mouse pad kind of material. Let's see. Oh, bigger. Oh, this is way nice, look at this. So I'm gonna hold this up and show you a side. I normally don't show my side because as a larger man, who wants to see me from the side? Nobody, right? Face on the Um this is a nice four by six look at this this is huge and this is great for medieval stuff so if you look here you can see there's nice variation you have different kind of terrain going on rocks and ponds you got some road features that's i'll hold that up better for all of you some road feature which is right here nice medieval kind of road you could cover a whole four by six table with this easily i mean here they're almost 4 by 6 no, Not quite, but still you get great coverage. You could use this for Hail Caesar, you could use it for Saga, you could do all sorts of stuff with this. Very nice. We've got another one to look at. Oh my goodness. They Playmats, thank you so much. You guys said you were setting stuff, and I am I'm bowled over because this is just simply amazing. And your products are so cool. As I struggle to open it because I'm the Tritonia. There we go. Can you just see how nicely packed these are again? They really are. Okay. So another one to open up. Here we go. And let's see what we have in this one. This looks like another big one. Okay, so this one is stiffer, oddly enough, than this one. And it's closer to the jungle double-sided, for how it feels. And it is, well, this is maybe a 4 by 4 I'd have to double-check to see what they offer, but this is a nice grassland. So you could easily do all sorts of <laughs> land battles on it. But if there wasn't enough, double-sided. I love this double-sided stuff. This is great. Look, and you get all this kind of urban stonework. You could probably do some Games of Rome or Mortal Gods with this. That'd be pretty neat. Any sort of medieval game. You can have just so much fun with this. Wow, very cool. We will roll you up properly after, because there's so much to do. Wow. Then open from the bottom. Makes life a little easier. I feel like I'm unsheathing a sword or something. And this one, wow. Okay. Let's just cut into here too. And then we'll get at those boxes. We'll do an unboxing inside an unboxing. Okay. Take its sheath off. 
And same feel as the last one. And let's just see what it is. Wow. Whoa, this is huge. It's still going. It hit the floor and it's still going. <laughs> I mean, I'm six feet tall and it's still going. This has to be a four by six. Let's put this on the table. So this is single sided. Okay, keep in mind, there's other stuff on the table, but look at this. This is truly, it's truly a 4x6 one. It's all rocky and craggy uh, with some nice areas to go through. You get, so depending on the skill, this could be a nice mountainous, or it could just be a rocky area, a difficult area to go. You could do all sorts of really cool stuff. You could also use this, right? If you want to do, say, some Wings of War, or um, why well, can't I think of the Rick Priestley one, Fire Red Sky, I believe it is. So that you're higher up and you're looking down at like tops of mountains and things of that sort. Very cool and huge mat. Awesome. Now let's dive in as I unearth them into these boxes that were inside the boxes. So let's do the big one first, okay? We'll just cut it open. You guys all know how to cut stuff. And there's... <laughs> Apparently, I need to go back to school and cut some more. Wow, there is so much stuff in here, too. And nicely packed. Okay, let's pop that there. Oh, so this, aha! I just heard about this. So this is 2D terrain. It's a space field, right? But one of the neat things you can do about it is it snaps closed. So that the nice side is on the inside and it can be snapped closed for protection so that way you can pack things easier very cool we got oh my goodness this just, oh wow oh wow <laughs> right here here's a 2d terrain set you see on one side it shows this craggy stuff right and on the other you get these beautiful kind of rocky outcroppings and they say for warhammer warhammer uh, War Machine and Hordes, rather, Warhammer 40k in bolt action. You can use it for any game. Don't. If you don't play those games, if you play those games, don't be like, oh, I can only use it for those games. You can use it for any game. Don't let it tell you you can't. So these are really cool. Look, they're different sizes. It kind of makes me think shape wise of a painter's palette. So it's like a little rocky metal. You can put this out. Another one. Oh, these are really cool. They're the same kind of feel of that mouse pad kind of material but less fabric-y than some of those mouse pads. You can put them out on your mat. We've got another one right here. This is like rockier. One with trees. Let's open some of these up. Because it's an unboxing. This is half the fun, right? Look. Neat shapes. Different sizes. So you could buy multiple of these things and lay them out and get yourself a forest. And then here, we've got a plowed field. So if you want to put on, you can be like, hey, look, I got a plowed field. Right there. Bam. This looks like a little swamp or bog, which is cool. Put that out for everyone to see. And then inside that was this, which let's dig into this. Oh, no scissors needed, apparently. Static queen. Oh, bam. Look at this. So first, wow, there's multiple. This, oh, this is really cool. So it's thick, but that's because there's multiple. Look, so you get a red, you get a blue. I'm not sure what the colors mean, but look, you get this nice looking stonework and roadways. You could do all sorts of stuff with that. Again, more 2D terrain. Get a nice square shape, rectangle actually. And with the blue. And then we have this smaller package right here. Let's see what we got going on here. Static wing. We open it up and we got a box. Oh, so I heard about this. It's a 2D and 3D set for X Wing. You could probably also use it for, let's be honest, Armada or any space game you wanted to do. And they're asteroids. These are. 3D asteroids, right? Look at this. 
and they have this back end so you could have them just be a 2d asteroid if you wanted and then you have 3d so you, I would say you do it like this you have the 2d underneath and you put the 3d on top and then you have it on the table right but then as your as your ships move into the area you would you need a little more light you would take this off so that your ships can fly right through the asteroid field take whatever damage is appropriate and so forth and then put this back on but wait what's even cooler once it focuses right here that's a tie turret a tie solar panel that's part of an x-wing or a y-wing right here here's another one look this huge tie fighter panel so you could use it for other games but clearly it is themed for this nice sculpting really neat and it even carries through on the 2d that's awesome so you can see here's tons of stuff from playmats.eu be sure to check them out that's right playmats.eu huge thank you to everyone at playmats.eu for sending us these to look at to unbox to talk about to review to cover on wargaming recon right down here here's where we go <laughs> you say down there at the bottom uh be sure to check out the podcast we have new episodes coming out all the time i do want to remind everyone though as we end the 2018 calendar we go into december I will be taking time off. I always do. I take usually the last half of December and first half of January off. I've got to recuperate, rejuvenate, come back fresh with new ideas for you. And this time around, probably going to be extending that because expecting the birth of my second child, January 1st. I think the baby's going to come early. My wife says the baby's due January 1st. Who's to say when the baby will come? But we're planning for it, getting ready. And doing all sorts of stuff but when the baby comes i'll be taking a longer break so depending on how that falls within everything maybe i'll come back from winter break and then go back on break or it'll just be a longer period so we're working on what to do to get podcast episodes to you during that period get contact to you as well we have other members of the team who might be able to step in and lend a hand we're going to be spending more time with all this stuff from playmats i mean just look at this this is amazing this stuff I didn't used to be a fan of 2d terrain I gotta say because I'm like well if you're doing 2d terrain why bother I just draw it in pencil on a piece of paper but that was before I saw stuff like this I mean this is absolutely gorgeous these pieces look at them simply beautiful so I am thoroughly impressed and oh god just think easy cleanup you your kid your buddy spills something on it as you're gaming no worries you just pick it up, you wipe it off with a sponge, a damp cloth or something. Easy storage. Imagine if you had forest, right? The trees would be up to here, but now they're flat. Easy stacking. So if I had shelves or whatever, I could just put them right here instead of taking up all this space. That's pretty cool. And also easy travel, easy transportation. You go into the game store, you go into your local club, go into a convention, a trade show, a participation game. You're moving from one home to a new. Like, how am I going to travel and carry all this stuff and get it to go? I have all these trees and mountains and all that kind of stuff. Play math study you. Easy, right? You just take it, bam, and good. So, thank you all once again. Want to once more remind everyone to be sure to subscribe to Wargaming Recon. You can get us anywhere podcasts are found. We're on Apple Podcasts. We're on Google Play. I just found out the other day that we finally got into Tune In, which means that if you have an Amazon Alexa device like an Echo, an Echo Dot, or the app in your phone or your tablet or computer, you can say, "Hey Alexa, play." Wargaming Recon on TuneIn. And you know what happens? It plays Wargaming Recon on TuneIn! Ah! Isn't that awesome? I'm very excited. But we're everywhere. Stitch and Unity, we're on all the places, all the things. We're on social media as Wargaming Recon, whether it's Facebook, Twitter, whatever. We're there. We're on YouTube. We have videos on Facebook. We're all the places giving you content. 
so you don't have to worry about that. Be sure to check out playmats.eu. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you for being a member of our community. Thank you for being who you are. But most importantly, thank you for taking the time out of your schedule to be with us here, to support what we do, because without listeners and viewers like you, without an audience like you, we couldn't do this. And that's why we are so grateful to our sponsors, the Main Historical Wargamers Association, who put on Huzzah, which is one of my favorite tabletop historical wargaming conventions. They hold it up in Portland, Maine every year. Be there May 2019. We will be there as well, myself and my buddy Adrian. And I think Alex might be going as well. And then, of course, the people who put on Enfilade, which is the largest historical tabletop wargaming convention west of the Mississippi, out there in Olympia, Washington. A lot of fun out there. They do a great job. And then we're also supported by our audience. You can support us on Patreon by being part of the community. Go to wargamingrecon.com slash Patreon. You can join and be part of the community for as little as $1 a month. That's right, for as little as one buck a month. You can get in. That's less than a cup of coffee costs. So you can do that. And that's what we got. Thank you again for watching. Thank you again for everything you support. You guys rock. So remember, no matter how busy you are, no matter what's going on in your life, no matter how much time you're playing with your 2D terrain or your awesome 3D 2D asteroids from playmats.eu, you know that you have to, you gotta, you need to keep on gaming.